Hello, my name is Anya, and today we will add a progress bar to our Flutterflow application. So we have a list of tasks, and the progress bar will reflect how many of those are completed. Here I have a data type called tasks, and tasks has name as a string field and then completed as a boolean, so a yes or no field. Here I have a list view of tasks, and then within that I'm displaying the name of the tasks, and then I also have a toggle icon to toggle between whether the task is completed or not. I have a video on how to make that, and I'll link it in the description box below but this is what it looks like, and it's all working just fine. What we wanna add in this video is a progress bar. So when I have all the tasks completed, I want to see 100% progress, and when I have 50, 50%, 50 and when I have no tasks, zero, and all of that accordingly. So let's set that up. I'm gonna go over here to my column, which is what's holding the list view, and I want to just add the progress bar base element. I can click that in and I'm going to drag that here. Oops. Going to drag that here so it is on top of this list view. Now, right now it is circular, but I would much rather it be linear. I'm going to make this 40 pixels of thickness and then the width is going to a percent and I'm going to do 90 percent. End radius is the roundness. I'm just going to do 16 and then 10 pixels of padding all around. Not focusing too much on design but let's make it look somewhat nice. Now let's look at this. Here I have progress of value. If I were to change that to 0.1 we see that change, but our text doesn't change accordingly, so we would have to change that. Now, let's tackle this part first. We can do this dynamically. So let's look at this. Somehow we need to find a way to be able to retrieve all of these lists, all of these tasks, see how many they are, and see how many are completed. But there isn't a way to do that right off the bat. So we have to get a little creative. The first thing I'm gonna do is create a local page state variable on this page. This is going to be our completed tasks. Since this changes, we can store it as a page state variable, which is really easy to alter. This is going to be an integer and I'm going to make it zero and say that it's not nullable and then we can click confirm now we have our completed tasks here we also need a way to store all of the tasks since this is something that is only going to happen once there's only one call required to set this up I'm going to actually store this as a query collection on this progress bar itself and this is going to be a list of documents and that's it, because all we'd really need to retrieve is the number of that. Now, on back on our progress bar page, I'm going to add an action. And let's actually open the action flow editor for this. The so first thing I'm going to do is a Firestore query collection. I want to grab all of the tasks that are completed right off the bat, so we have that stored. All of the tasks where completed is equal to true. I can go down here and give it an action output variable name. So this is going to be completed. Now that I have retrieved all the completed tasks, I need to store that somewhere. So I'm going to click on update page state with variable and I'm going to update my completed tasks to be the value that we retrieved in the first one. I'm going to go back here and actually make this a list of documents. That's my bad. And over here, we can remove what we currently have set. And now we are going to search up completed, which is our action output. And now we can quite easily retrieve the number of items. So right off the bat, we have stored the completed tasks and 
the total task. So we can go ahead and go here. Right now we can see the task documents. This is the total, but we're actually going to go down here to code expression. And we are going to add two arguments. One is going to be the total, which is going to be an integer. And it's going to be the task documents number of items. And the other is going to be completed, which is an integer as well. And it's going to map to our page state variable. We want to do completed. I need to make sure I spell that right. Completed divided by total. We can check errors. I'm going to reload this. And currently we have three tasks completed and we can see that this is 50%. This isn't working yet, the actual number, but let's set that up now. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to just get what the value of the progress bar is and show that. We can see I can't select that anyway, so we actually need to do the exact same thing. I'm going to create the same code expression. Here I have the same condition, total divided by completed and return type double, but I made the number formatting a percent. I accidentally made it total over completed. It needs to be completed over total. We can just check errors. That should all work and click confirm. We can see that 50% of them are completed, and that's what this reads. All we need to do is make it change when I select more. The way we're going to do this is by going to our toggle icon or whatever is initiating the change and adding an action. I'm going to open the action flow editor. What we want to do is add a conditional action. So based on this condition, they're either going to do one thing or the other thing. This condition is going to be if this current document is completed. If it's completed after it's clicked, we want to update the page state and just increment it by one because it wasn't completed before and now it's completed again. I'm going to copy action and paste action over here and instead of incrementing it, we are going to decrement it by negative one. Let's preview this. We can see that we are currently at 83%. I can uncheck one of those. We see that change. And right now we're at 50, and it's all working exactly how we want. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.